Welcome to .NET Codes with Error Codes Solution. In this video section, I'm going to discuss how to stop button click event of the page refresh. Before proceeding, first we need to create the database. Uh, first, here I already created table name called as a name and columns are first name, last name, and date time. For that, we need to create the design. I already designed the form here. I created a table and assign a first name and last name and the button click event. And below there is a there is a label I place to display message. Let us write some code to insert this data into the database. Uh, double click event. We have to go code behind. Here we have to write uh, inserting data into the database to speed up things. I already written the code. I'm simply copy and paste. Yeah, pasting the code here. Here I have opened the connection and inserting query to command and I open the connection, executing query and closing connection. Once the record is inserted successfully, the label will display record inserted successfully. And the, let's check the database here. The database is empty. Now, when now we execute this query, okay, I'm inserting here. I click submit button, the console successfully. When I refresh, the data is inserted here. Okay, the problem is here when I refresh the data is submitting again to this database. Let's check. You're not understanding by seeing here, but when we go and database when we refresh, here you see the data is inserting continuously when I refresh. How to prevent this? How to stop this ref at the time of page refresh or uh, the button click event in order to fire? Let's check by code here. Let's let's see a breakpoint. When I refresh, here we see here we see the button click event is firing. Again, the data is inserted here. Here the solution is we have to place sorry to stop debugging. Respond dot redirect and uh, request dot URL dot sorry URL dot absolute URL and refresh. That's it. This is the only solution. Now we see the database have John Sam. Now we see Kiran Reddy. When I click insert. Check the database. Kiran ready. Okay. Here you see the whatever data is gone here. First name and last name. When I refresh, we're not firing this button. I hope you understand. Here simply only this query URL upstart URL you have to mention whenever you want to refresh, whenever you want to rewrite the same page, then only this code will be ex work. If you want to redirect to some other page, it, this code is not work. If you like this video, thanks for watching my video. Please like my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you. Welcome to .NET Code Snippet with Error Code Solution. In this video section, I'm going to discuss jQuery validation. After jQuery validation, button click event is not working. This is the issue, general issue, normal. Uh, beginners face this problem so I'm going to show you solution for this problem I'm using my previous video project which is this is my first name last name submit button this are the previous video section I use this project so I'm continuing this when I click this button I have to jQuery validation will tell the first name field must be entered 
so we have to write them in java welcome to dotnet course guide with error code solution in this video section i am going to show you how to store html tags to database in asp.net for that first we need to create a database with two fields one is title and another column is code i already created the table here now let me design for this project here i already designed the content that exactly look like this